This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, and welcome to part one in introduction to animation in Maya. Uh, we're working in Maya 2017, and in this first episode, we're going to look at the interface. Okay, so the buttons, the menus, and so forth. All right, here we go. All right, guys, welcome. So, video one in a series of introduction to animation in Maya. Okay, well, I'm working in Maya 2017, but for the most part, um, the uh, things that we're going to use should be similar in earlier versions. And uh, that said, in this video, we're going to look at the user interface. Okay, so the buttons, the menus, and so forth. And uh, before we get into the actual animation bit, all right. And again, this is a beginner's uh, introduction course. So if you're familiar with animation in Maya, then you can skip this. All right, cool. Okay, so first of all, what about our workspace? Well, if we go up to this drop down menu right here, we have the option to choose modeling, rigging, animation, FX, rendering, and customize. You could jump straight into animation if you would like to, okay? There's also another method. You can go up to uh, Windows, you can go to uh, Workspace, and here you can choose the Maya Classic, Maya Standard, and that will give you your animation slider down here. Actually, this one does not. We'll go to the Classic, Window and Classic. I know that that one does for sure, come on. Okay, down here, and I'll explain all that. Uh, let's see, what else you can do? You can go to um, animation from here, like so, all right? Cool, so what's important is that you have these sliders going on here, okay? So what else? The normal or default speed that you need for your animation. Now the default for Maya is 24 frames per second, and I'll explain to you what frames per second means. If you look at an animation, you basically are looking at a sequence of images, uh, one behind the other in a certain speed, okay? I don't know if you ever saw those little flip books where you had all the drawings on, uh, on pieces of paper, one behind the other. If you flip through them, you will see movement, okay? Or at least a simulation of movement. So that's what we're doing. So in Maya, same deal. Now the default frame rate is 24 frames per second. Basically meaning that you will see 24 different images in the duration of one second. Now that setting is set up here. We're gonna to go to uh, Windows. We're gonna to go to Settings Preferences, Preferences, and we're gonna select the Settings. As we do that, you can see the time here is set to Film, 24 frames per second. You have other options here based on you know where and how you're gonna use this. So let's say you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna create an animation that you want to display on a television set, let's say in Europe, you would have a selection of 24, uh, 25 frames per second. And if you were in the US, uh, I believe you would have 30. I think they have the NTSC uh, platform, okay? So I'm gonna leave this at uh, 24 and uh, we're gonna close that down again. So once again, Windows, Settings Preferences, Preferences and Settings. Another thing you can do is you can go down here and you can click on this little running guy down here in the corner. If we click on that, we'll open up that menu. Here's our settings. And here it jumps to time slider. So the settings, that's where we were just were, 24 frames per second. The time slider is this guy down here. Now, what can you do with that? Well, first of all, let's say you want the height of the frames to be bigger. You could click on this guy or even on this guy. This will give you a lot of information. It takes a lot of space as well, so we don't want that. So we're gonna shut that down and shut that down. And then there are a couple of other things we can uh, deal with. And again, I'm gonna deal with the basics only for the simple reason that I don't wanna make it too complicated as you guys just get started, okay? So update views. I want this to be set to all and I want playback by one. I want every frame to be played when I play that. Now the update views, what that means is if I have multiple views like so and I have let's say a cube moving from one end to the other, if it's not set to all it will only animate in the window that I'm that I have selected. If you set it to all it will move in all four. That's what that means. 
okay so we're going to shut that down so we talked about the frame rate the default frame rate for animation we talked about how you can get to those settings and we're going to jump back to our perspective view here for a minute there we go what we're going to talk about next is about these sliders down here now we basically have two of them we got this guy right here and we got this one right here so what are they and what is the difference now in order for me to demonstrate that to you guys i quickly need to set up a very very basic animation and we're going to get into that in one of the next videos so just uh, bear with me as i do that i'm just gonna set something up here really really quick and let's see we'll do All right, okay, so if I hit play, you will see a cube running over the screen, okay? And because we set our frame rate to 24, it's doing so at 24 frames per second. So if I left click and drag here, and I go from frame to frame, you see that on the initial frames, there's no movement. So frame one, nothing going on, two, three, four, five, and at six, and seven, you can see it's starting to move, okay? So what I did is I told the cube to stay in position for the first number of frames, and I'll just click on my cubes. You can see there's a red line here. So that's called a, um, you know, a, a key. So I brought that in here and I said, okay, up until frame five, don't do anything. And then starting at frame five, I want to move from this point to the next point where I have that red line. And then again, it stays stationary, okay? So this top line here, regardless of these red lines, you can forget about that for right now. This is our complete time slider. So we have frame one going all the way to frame 120 right now. And I'll just pull on this guy. And as we do, it will increase. So if I drag further, it'll go to frame 199 because this is a set of 200. So our first frame is one, our last frame is frame 200. That is the entire range of our animation as yet. Now let's say that is not enough for your, um, for whatever you're doing, because basically 200 frames at 24 frames per second is something like eight seconds of animation, okay? If that's not enough, you could, for example, just overwrite that and type in 500. And as you do that and pull this guy out, you can see that the range becomes much, much bigger, okay? Now that kind of also explains what this guy is for. Let's say I have 500 frames in my animation, but I'm only interested in working on the first 50 frames, okay? What I can do is just left click and drag on this guy. And as I bring that back to, uh, let's say 50, the entire range here is now displayed from one to 50. So the one all the way on the left and all the way on the right is my entire skill or time slider. The one to the right of that is the first frame in my selected uh, frame rate and the last one. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So what else have we got? We got the play buttons here. We can hit play to run our animation. We can stop that. We can hit play reverse to make it go backwards if we want and stop that. Uh, this is basically any type of play button you would see in let's say um, kind of a multimedia device. You can jump all the way to the end. You can jump all the way to the other end and so forth. So this is a uh, pretty self-explanatory, okay? So with that said, you now have a, um, a common and basic understanding of what every element is for and where it's located and how you can set up your uh, first animation. And in the next video, we're gonna get into keyframing and how that works, okay? So uh, see you guys there, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.